Hey guys, it's Harleywood. Today for review is the Vortex PST and this is the 1 to 4 power. Let's get into it. Alright, so as you can see here, this is the Vortex Viper PST. It is a 1 to 4 power scope and it has a pretty awesome reticle on it. I'm going to see if I can get a good picture of it. Um, if I can't get it with the video camera, I'll roll a picture in. But I also have the Vortex Optics cantilever mount that came with it. For those of you who might want to order it, it is the CM202. There's the box for it there. Okay, so we'll kind of do a quasi-review of that also. Here is the box for the Vortex Viper PST. All right, and what made me choose this? So I went back and forth and did a lot of research between EOTex, the Micro T1, my father recently got a uh, Trijicon ACOG, and that's a pretty sweet scope. But I didn't like the idea of a fixed four power scope, for, so I kind of ruled the Trijicon out, not to mention the $1,200 price tag. Um, you can get them for $1,000, I know, so don't post that in the comments, I'm aware. Um, and then, so that took it down to the EOTech and the Aimpoint. Now, I like the wide field division on the EOTech, but all of the ones that I looked through had a very kind of starbursty um, look to the reticle. Those of you who are not aware, it's kind of a, a circle reticle with a single dot in the middle. And I like the wide field of view. The reticle left a little bit to be desired, though. And the Aimpoint T1 was a very good scope. I liked the single dot reticle, it was, you know, nice there also, but I didn't like the small field of view. And then I got to thinking about the ability to zoom in with these also. And I was posting on some forums and I was asking some questions and somebody said, I love my Vortex Viper and I'd never even heard of it. So I looked it up and I was immediately hooked. Within, a, I think, about 30 minutes of watching some other videos, I ordered it. And so here it is. It has a lot of adjustability. One of the things that I really, really like about it, let me flip this over, is that when you are turning the reticle on and off, every turn on the knob here goes to, you know, for example, one off, two off, three off, four off, so forth, all the way up to 10. So you don't have to get it up to a power that you like, and then when you're done shooting, turn it 10 you know, clicks back down to get it back to, to a, an off setting. You can literally put it at off in between every single setting. Let's see if the camera will zoom in there. Um, you have the ability here to do some fine adjustments to get your, you know, your blur. Here is the the lever that you turn in order to get the zoom. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and talk about one thing that I kind of already don't like about the mount. The mount mounts with these star bolts here. Sorry, I'm trying to do this from behind the camera. So you can see the stars there. And once you get it in place, if something goes wrong, if your optics fail, you're kind of stuck. You're not going to be able to get this thing off easily unless you have that tool with you. So I am considering sending this back. This is $89 for this version that you see here. It's got the one inch rings. And I'm considering sending it back and getting one that has the quick detach levers here that you, where you can just throw the levers. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I took this out shooting today. You know, obviously if the optic never fails, then it's never a problem, right? But uh, I don't know if I want to take that chance. So you have nice positive clicks. Sorry, I keep bumping the camera, guys. Nice positive clicks. Let's see if you can hear it. All right. And the ability to set it back to your zero. All you have to do is loosen these. Let's get the camera to focus. Loosen these Allen bolts. There's three of them on the top. And then this will turn and you can bring it right back to your zero. Here's a little fiber optic nodule on the top there. And so even in a low light setting, you could see if you had it back. And here you can see is for your windage. Nice positive clicks. So I took this out, zeroed it today. And at 100 yards, I was shooting about inch and a quarter groups. I'm not going to say I got it to an inch because I'm not quite that good yet. Um, 
It has a one MOA dot in the center of the reticle. I'll reposition the camera here in just a second and show you that. And basically at 100 yards, I had a target that had a one inch, it's those shoot and see targets that have the, uh, you know, they turn green when you shoot them. And it had a one inch orange dot in the middle. So I had to just line that black dot, that one MOA dot of the reticle up right on that orange dot. And there you go, pull the trigger. So let me reposition the camera, see if I can show you the badass reticle on this thing. And um, we'll be right back. All right, guys, there is the reticle. This is a little bit difficult to do. Um, if I zoom in on it, you can see the MOA marks there. And if I turn off the red, you can see the outer ring. Um, I believe the inside of the outer ring, I'll post this in the comments below because I'm going by memory here. The inside of the outer ring, I believe is 18 MOA. The outside is 22, I wanna say, or 20. The dot in the middle is a single MOA dot at 100 yards. Pretty cool reticle. So you can also shoot this with your eyes, with both eyes open. And um, that ring in the middle there, as long as that's on somebody's uh, chest area or on the target, you're probably gonna hit. So hard to hold this camera like this. Let me go ahead and get this back on a tripod. All right, guys, so that's it. The Vortex Viper PST, one, by four, one to four by 24. Pretty awesome little scope. Um, really liking it, very happy with this decision. So, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to post them below. And I don't think you'll regret it if you buy this. It's about $500 retail cost, and the mount was $89. So, you're looking at somewhere in the neighborhood of $600. I got this from Optics Planet. They run deals all the time on, you know, 20% off, 15% off, especially if you wait till around the holidays. So, be on the lookout. Get yourself one. We'll see you next time.